Tim Bradford. Welcome to an Australian Musician. Thank you. Uh, you're a 14-year-old drummer uh, and you've been doing some very cool things uh, recently. Um, before we get to that, I just wanted to get a bit of background. Uh, you started playing drums when you were seven. Why drums and not electric guitar or keyboards? I, I get asked this question a lot and I guess a lot of the bands that I loved to listen to when I was a lot younger, so my parents, they, they would always have music on in the house. A lot of the music I would listen to, I would just get a feel for the rhythm instruments of the band rather than like a melody. I'd always get along to the drums. And um, just one day when I was in, yeah, I was in grade one and I asked my parents, can I play drums? I just, I just wanted to play drums and I really want to play. Can I play? And then the next year I was in grade two and they uh, started up lessons at school for drums. I uh, kind of just came about, it was just a decision I'd made really. I was just, yeah, I want to play drums. Yeah. So once um, you started to de develop your own musical taste, uh, who are some of the bands that you got into? Well, a lot of the bands that I love are bands that my dad's shown me. So I love 12 Foot Ninja and Tesseract, which is the video that you, I think you saw recently. Um, and, and Leprous and Tool, a lot of the progressive metal bands that are, yeah, that are around right now. So Caligula's Horse as well. Um, I've actually got photos on this wall behind me with a lot of the people from those bands that I love. So. Yeah, uh, you mentioned 12 Foot Ninja. Um, I believe that was the first band you ever saw when you were 10 years old. Yeah, uh, tell me about that experience. My life started. That was just one of the best nights of my life and will always be. I remember that so clearly. I just arrived there. I wasn't allowed in because it was an over 18s gig, but I was, I was having dinner outside the, the, um, the stage room and I was just listening in and the band had band had came and met me before they started playing and they've gave, given me a poster that's still hanging up on my wall just out just out of view and it was the best night of my life I, I met everyone and I was sneaked side of stage and just it was amazing they even dedicated a song to me actually I was they asked what my favorite track was and they played that track during the gig and said this one's for Liam he's a 14 year old sitting outside and it was just amazing it was one yeah. of the best nights of my life and I believe Shane Russell the band's drummer is now your drum teacher yes yeah he has been since a couple of months after that gig we haven't stopped for four years or so it's really fun I love it every Thursday yeah but tell me about your kit that you're sitting at um yes so this is a Roland 27 KV um, and me being me, I needed to add some extra symbols. So the original kit came with my hi-hat, my two crashes and my ride. So I've added on my snack, my splash and my china. Um, and it's amazing. I, when I played on my acoustic kit, there was a time curfew that I couldn't play before or after. So 8 PM to 8 AM, I wasn't allowed to play. Now it'll get to about midnight and I'll be like, yeah, I'm going to go play some drums because I want to play some drums and I'll be allowed to. And my parents won't even know they'll be sitting outside, so not outside, sitting in the living room, just, just watching a movie and I'll be in here drumming and they can't even hear me. It is amazing. It is so much fun to play on and it feels just like a real kit. And it's, it's really, really well done and I love playing on it. Yeah, uh, we're both in Melbourne. We're in the fourth lockdown in the, in the last couple of years. Um, you've been using your time very wisely, though. You, you've got a YouTube channel and a Facebook page. Um, you've been streaming uh, cover versions of songs, uh, playing with musicians around the world. Um, and then you started getting some feedback. Uh, first of all, tell me about um, Tool and Alter Bridge. Well... Alter Bridge, um, that was that was really cool because I, I did a Alter Bridge cover because I, I really like Alter Bridge. I did a cover of their songs and someone in America saw my video and offered me a an opportunity to do 
a online, what they call a collaboration music video. So I recorded the drum part to a certain song and people all over the world recorded their instruments part of that song. And they, um, Josh, the man in America who messaged me, um, Josh Preeb, he put it all together and the first one was amazing. I think it was Twilight by Alter Bridge. Um, and yeah, that's, that was my, my Alter Bridge experience. And my tool experience was amazing because it's a, it's a gift that keeps on giving because I released that video, um, a little bit after I'd heard the album. So it would have been about maybe half a year. And I decided, yeah, I'm going to, I'm going to put that, that song out. I love it. And I put it out and it's just constantly growing in, in views. You'll, there's an analytics page that the publisher of a video on YouTube can see. And I regularly look at the one of Numa and it's just starts here and it just keeps going up. It is amazing. Uh, the, the latest thing you've done is um, a performance of Tesseract's Concealing the Fate EP, uh, tracks one to six all the way through. Um, and the amazing thing, oh, I mean, to start with, it's an, an amazing performance, so congratulations on that. Uh, but the amazing thing is that uh, Jay, uh, the drummer from the band, actually posted a reaction video. Um, how did you find out about that and how do you feel? Well, I actually, it was Saturday last weekend. So the weekend just gone. Um, and I'd posted the video two days before that, I think. And I was, I was pretty proud of myself. You know, it was all in one take and it's a lot of music to do well enough to release because there is a pretty high standard that I try to reach for my covers. And I was, I was pretty proud of myself. You know, it was 27, 28 minutes of straight music that I'd done pretty well on and, and I was happy and I'd slept in on Saturday morning and it was about, about midday actually. And I wake up and I've just made myself some, some breakfast and I hear J Po Stones' voice saying, so there's this 14 year old over in Australia and I just, my ears pricked up and I'm just, uh, what? And I look over at the screen and he's streaming my video and my mum's filming me and my dad's standing down in front of the telly beaming he's like oh my god this is amazing and I just get up and I bring my breakfast down to the ta the coffee table in the living room and we just watch the entire stream and it was the most amazing reaction that I think I might ever get from someone at least for a very long time because not only is that cover ridiculously hard to get but for the person who wrote the music to say that I did it well was amazing. It was just, it, it was the best start to a weekend I think I'll ever have. Yeah, for sure. So what's next, Liam? Uh, have, you, have you got a project in mind? I do. Um, I've got a couple of things going at the moment. So for my YouTube channel, my next cover will be Change Into Dead Man by, sorry, Dead Man Into Change by Carnival. They're um, two songs that one leads into the other at the end of an album. Um, and they're both 10, 12 minutes long. So it'll be a similar length to the Concealing Fate um, cover that I did. But more interesting things are happening as well. So I've got, I've, I joined a band in December 2020. Um, so last year. And they had all the tracks written and they were partially recorded so things in the background are having happening there um our instagrams and social media pages are all launched and everything and our first single will be coming out pretty soon and i'm quite excited about that because this is my first first experience with a band and it's pretty professional how it's all happening and it's very it's one of those things that you'll always imagine doing. So for me, I always imagine doing it, but for other people, it might be a different thing and it starts happening to you and you just, Oh my God, this is actually happening. This is real. It's one of those just incredible experiences that I'm very, very much excited for. And what's the name of the band? Hereafter. Okay. 
Um, yeah, it's it's very it's a different style than I'm used to playing to. Um, but it's it's a bit heavier than what I used to play. So um, all the progressive metal, it's it's a lot yeah heavier than what I usually play. But it's definitely it's changed my playing style quite a bit because there's a lot of things that happen on the drums in that style of music that don't in mine and vice versa. So it's changed my playing a lot. And I'd say that's probably my most interesting project that's going on at the moment. I'm very, very excited to see what happens with that. Yeah. Um, so what do you hope to happen with your drumming? Um, do you want to be in a band permanently in the future? Do you want to teach? What do you want to do with this? Um, there's honestly everything that you can kind of think of with drums. I want to do it. So I, I, I want to one of my more ambitious goals is I want to be one of the best or the best. I want, um, I really strive for my top level of playing. And I know that I'll pro I will never reach like an absolute, just I'm perfect drummer. There's always something to play better. There's always ways, ways to improve. But for now, my more realistic, not realistic, my more focused goals right now is definitely staying in a band and teaching. I'd like to teach because then I'd be able to make money from doing things that I really enjoy and I get to inspire other people to play. I remember if I didn't have a good first drum teacher, then I probably would not be playing drums now because I just wouldn't have enjoyed it. So if I didn't enjoy it, then I wouldn't be playing. So I want to do the same for other people as well. Um, so they get a good experience with drums before they call it quits. But I, I'd say definitely staying in a band is what I really, really want to do. Yeah. All right, Liam, we uh, look forward to hearing Hereafter's first single and we look forward to your next online performance. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Thank you very much.